Good morning. My name is Rafael Espinal, and I'm the chair of the Consumer Affairs Committee. Today, the committee will be holding a vote on proposed intro 746A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to preventing the unauthorized practice of immigration law. We are joined by my colleagues in the committee, uh, Jalissa Ferreras Copeland from Queens, Karen Coswitz from Queens. Uh, we have Danny Drum, uh, who's uh, the main sponsor of this bill from Queens as well. New York City is home to 3.1 million immigrants, the largest immigrant population in the nation. The growing numbers of immigrants, ever increasing complexities of immigration law and policy, as well as the large and growing backlog of immigration cases processing by federal authorities, have led to tremendous demand for assistance with immigration related issues in New York City. Unfortunately, shortages in affordable immigration legal services, as well as false advertising, led many immigrants to seek assistance from unauthorized and sometimes unscrupulous individuals. While immigration service providers can assist individuals with various services such as translating forms, helping secure necessary original documents, and arranging for fingerprints, photographs, and medical exams, they may not, they may not provide legal advice or services. Unfortunately, many providers cross this line, frequently leading to devastating consequences for the immigrants and their families. Additionally, some ISPs overcharge clients or charge for services they do not perform. These fraudulent actions put vulnerable immigrants at high risk of deportation. Some ISPs, especially those serving Latin American co communities, use the term notario, which often misleads Spanish-speaking immigrants to believe they are lawyers and, uh, and authorized to provide immigration legal, legal services. Existing state and local law regulate this industry. Proposed intro 746A would update local law to track with 2014 changes to state law, as well as expand protections to immigrant consumers. Providers will be required to specify in the contract their duties and limitations, as well as the customer's rights, including providing a consumer bill of rights that will be produced by DCA. Additionally, providers would have to post required signage in English and in the languages in which they provide or offer to provide services. Providers would be prohibited from offering and providing legal services and from making statements that could lead a, cu a customer to believe that the provider in an, is an attorney or an immigration expert. The bill would also require DCA to provide the council with information regarding complaints against providers as well as the department's efforts to proactively investigate providers and provide community education and outreach. I now want to recognize the bill sponsor, Councilman Daniel Drum, for a comment on his bill. Thank you very much, Chair Spinal, and thank you for working so closely with me on this um, for um, almost two years now uh, to get this passed, and I think it's very timely. Since this bill was introduced in 2015, the situation has gone from difficult to dire. Trump seems determined to break Obama's record of deportations, but also to scapegoat our immigrant families to distract from the looting of this country by him and his ilk. Proposed intro 746A represents a very tangible way the city can affirm its commitment to remaining a sanctuary city. Scammers are looking to prey upon the fears of immigrants desperate for assistance navigating complex immigration laws, a huge problem in my district and throughout the city. This legislation tightens requirements for immigration service providers, increases penalties for violators, and mandates coordination among relevant agencies. Crafted with input from leading experts, intro 746A puts New York City at the forefront of the fight for justice for our immigrant communities. I want to thank Consumer Affairs Committee Council Balkis Miharik, Policy Analyst Israel Martinez, and I also want to give special thanks to Catalina Cruz, now Chief of Staff to Councilmember Jalissa Ferreras Copeland, for working on this when she served as counsel to the Immigration Committee. Finally, I extend my deep gratitude to current Immigration Committee counsel, Indiana Porta, for making sure we ended up with the strongest bill possible. And let me also thank my counsel, Sebastian McGuire, for always pushing me on immigration issues and uh, really a strong knowledge of immigration law. Thank you, Sebastian, for that. I encourage all my colleagues to vote for this uh, crucial legislation, which will have a huge impact on our immigrant communities today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilman. Any further comments? Okay. The 
chair recommends a yes vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on consumer affairs. Introduction 746A, Chair Espinal. I vote aye. Ferreris Copeland. Permission to explain my vote? Motion accepted. Thank you, Chair. I just wanted to thank Councilmember Drum for his leadership on this very timely, unfortunately timely, piece of legislation. And again, also to congratulate my Chief of Staff, as you had mentioned, who had done a lot of work. And for the Chair to move this piece of legislation timely and expeditiously. And I proudly vote aye for all of those constituents that are living in fear currently in our districts. Um, so I uh, wanted to congratulate you and thank you. Kozlowitz. May I be excused to explain my vote? <clears throat> I just want to say ditto to uh, Council Member Jalissa Ferraris Copeland for what she had said. I agree with the same thing. And congratulations to my colleague, Danny Drum, for this wonderful, terrific, well-do um, legislation. Thank you. Rebel I vote aye. I vote up three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Yeah, we'll keep the roll open for another 15 minutes.